three key functions of the HFD controller. Setting, adjusting, and canceling timers. Checking timer, remaining time, and shelf actual temperature. And also adjusting shelf temperature set points. This is the time button. These are the 12 timer buttons. And this is the on-off button. When the unit is turned on, the timer and temperature configuration is shown when the unit is first turned on. Then it shows the internal air temperature. When a timer is off, pressing the timer button once sets the countdown timer to the value programmed into the controller. When pressing the timer button again while the indicator is blinking sets the timer to 30 minutes. Each additional press while the indicator blinks adds 30 minutes up to 4 hours. Then the timer cycles back to 30 minutes again. Once the timer is activated, the indicator stops blinking and stays on. Then the display shows the internal air temperature. While the timer is on, pressing the timer button displays the remaining time, which here is one hour. Then the actual shelf temperature, which is 214, which is not the set point, and then shows the internal air temperature. HFDM units will not show the internal air temperature. The display will be blank. At 15 minutes remaining time, the indicator will turn yellow. When no time remains, the indicator turns red plus an audible alarm sound. The heaters remain on. Pressing the timer button next to the blinking red indicator clears the alarm and restarts the timer. Holding down the time button and pressing a timer button turns off the timer. Holding down the time button. It turns off the timer. To adjust the temperature set points, turn the unit off. The lights and heaters turn off. Hold down the time button, then press the on off button until the display comes on. The display will show the firmware version, which in this case is 4.01. Push either of the two buttons corresponding to the shelf that you wish to change the temperature. For example, the bottom right shelf, if you press this side, you set it 220. If you keep pushing it, it raises the temperature. If you push this side, it lowers the temperature. Both lights on either side of the buttons will be blinking. Push and hold the button on the left to decrease the temperature, the one on the right to increase the temperature. Repeat the procedure using the buttons for each shelf temperature you want to adjust. Note the HSDM has only four heaters. So the middle and upper shells will read off. And I'll show you that here. That one reads off. Once the temperatures are adjusted, pushing the I.O. button locks in the new temperature settings and turns the unit on.